And just like that, August the 3rd, 2023, Thursday, we in this thing, hump day is over. We already said you should have humped yesterday because you probably ain't going to get none today. Uh, it is Leo season, so shout out to you guys. I know you guys are clapping on the background. It's almost my time. Virgo season is near. Uh, but anyway, no need for all that madness. Let's go ahead and get into this news today. What do we have? Oh, College basketball player found dead in his on-campus apartment. Oh. Uh, the Drexel University community is mourning the loss of Terrence Butler, a talented basketball player who was found dead in his campus apartment. The news of his passing has shocked and saddened everyone at Drexel, as Butler was not only a dedicated athlete, but also a well-liked member of the university community. Uh, cause of his death is unknown, leaving many in disbelief and seeking answers. Uh, I'm not going to make any assumptions here, especially with, you know, it's fresh. We don't have any more information, but I know that had to be quite the intriguing situation and hurtful situation for those that found uh, him and that has to continue to deal with this. Uh, our condolences. Yesterday, we told you about Lizzo having uh, some body shaming accusations and accusations about making people feel uncomfortable because she likes to talk about and suck bananas in their presence and discuss her masturbation and antics. This is what comes from it. Lizzo has decided to respond. I don't know if that was the best thing she should do. Sometimes you got to just shut up because you might make it worse. I have not read this. It's going to be my first time reading it. I'm sure her PR team had the time to sit up and write this air quotes heartfelt <laughs> uh, letter online. Uh, so I'm going to read it for the first time with y'all. Lizzo denies the sexual harassing. So let's see here. These last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already pub publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. As an artist, I have always been very passionate about what I do. I take my music and my performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that represents me and my fans with passion. Comes hard work and high standards. Sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. I am not here to be looked at as a victim, but I also know that I am not the villain. You're just in between bullshit. That people and the media have portrayed me to be the last few days. I am very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I am not. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight. I'm hurt, but I will not let the good work I've done in the world be overshadowed by this. I want to thank everyone who has reached out in support to lift me up during this difficult time. Now let me tell you something, Mitch. It's going to be hard to lift you up. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's going to be a difficult time trying to lift you up, but I'm going to continue here. Oh, and that's where she ends. Yeah, you, you, you lost me once you start talking about somebody finna lift you up. Uh, you a strong motherfucker. If somebody lifting up Lizzo, uh, go ahead and send us a picture of those biceps before and after. It might be broken, but anyway. 
I don't know what to think of this. I do think Lizzo seems like the kind of person that'd be sucking bananas between the dance routine. Uh, there's been other footage released of her saying she's fond of sucking bananas and etc. And she loves to play the ukulele down in her britches. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not going to insult her, but this is what she has informed people that she does. That is Lizzo, folks. Put your hands together. Think of it what you would like to. Put in the comments what you think of it. All right. And there are a lot of people online giving relationship advice. There's a lot of people who has a PhD in relationships. Some of y'all follow some of them and you sit back and you soak it up. You've experienced the likes of Derek Jackson, uh, the likes of Kevin Samuels, uh, Kendra G maybe. Uh, she lets them say what they would like to say, but it's relationship based and some of the other podcasts here. Uh, some people like to discuss it in interview fashion and etc. Well, there's someone else that wants to top it because they have all the skills that you need to hear about. They know a relationship in and out. That's right, Mia Khalifa. I present to you Mia Khalifa. I'm gonna let her share this with you. Stats, baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage, married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement, engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is, it is paperwork. It's something, it's, it's, it's a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you gotta go, you gotta go, you have to go. I know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things, but this is your fucking life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? It's period. Do you want to be stuck with someone? No, I'm just going to say this. Someone's sitting on the edge of their seat saying, are you going to judge a person that uses their body or have to use their body? Yes, I am. Are you going to not receive the message because it's being told from someone who likes to film themselves uh, taking the glizzy? Yes. My gosh. Sometimes, I have to say this, sometimes, although the message may be a message and it's not coming from the right messenger. I know sometimes you can ignore that and say it's a great message. Mia Khalifa, I'm not listening to that. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I, I don't think there's much for me to say here. I have a hard time thinking that this is going to be the go-to person and be like, you know what? There's issues in my home. I know who, who can just get me, give me that direction that I need. Mia Khalifa, come through for your boy. If y'all want to hear that, and if you guys are going to, you know, follow her uh, sanctimonious discussions, make sure to do so. I'm just going to slap my forehead and the crazy thing, more ironic thing, this was found on another relationship master platform. No jumper. Adam22. Amanda said, hump my wife. It's okay. But that's a whole other topic. Good grief. Fans are upset after finding out dates on Moneybag Yo's tour are being canceled due to low ticket sales. Uh, people are saying, look as though Moneybag Yo is canceling his tour due to low sales. Why do rappers with no core fan base continue to think they can do arena tours? Why the Philly tour date canceled? I'm so upset. I'm really about to start crying, yo. Bro, Moneybag Yo canceled. I'm pissed. I can't believe they done canceled Moneybag Yo concert in Orlando. I am terrible. I have terrible luck with concerts, someone says. Kevin Gates canceled and now money back yo look there have been a lot of this going on there's a shift in music if you haven't noticed uh, we haven't had a number one hip-hop 
album or single on the billboard for the year of 2023 we are now in august the year is almost gone i do know that travis scott is uh on pace to do so so that might happen but we're not we're not talking about album sales here we're talking about ticket sales but it translates there's a lot of uh shifting with the music right now i think it's finally it took y'all a long time to realize because we were you know doing the millie rock for a long time and now we've graduated to tiktok dances and just hearing something catchy but i think y'all finally realized that you miss substance the substance is gone not saying it's not there at all i know y'all get it some of y'all saying you get it from cole some of y'all saying you get it from kendrick wherever you get it it does exist but it's few and far between it's not like it used to be uh and i'm not going to be the uncle uh you know spewing hate because i do like the new music as well i just noticed the repetitiveness that we have going on the tone the vocal tone the inflections uh i'm not really against auto-tune but some of y'all go crazy with that uh little baby canceled a lot of tour dates money bag yo uh now um i'm just gonna show you a little example chris brown his album it didn't do bad but they said it didn't do what they thought it was gonna do his concert still had folks out there still selling like crazy usher not a problem making people uh break up their happy homes because they there they pan them get in there and they're ready to argue with their bait but they're gonna be in there beyonce amazing drake breaking records nas doing well kendrick did well uh and I, he might be still going too but he's doing they're all doing good and not saying all of those are substance rappers that's a up for a debate an artist but usher has a long history of music beyonce has some stuff with substance chris brown i know y'all get mad at him but he has a lot of stuff so people are paying to go to these concerts at this point comedians are outselling some of the rappers i hate to say it but some of your rappers are might uh start performing in those plazas again next to the arby's in those little hole in the wall clubs you're probably not doing it because you're pride and you don't want to be seen with that crowd of 62 people but get your money brethren and as far as this music i need a little more from y'all i don't want to hear nothing else about anybody else spinning the block i don't want to hear nothing else about you got a burkin off that trick i need something else we need something else. Otherwise, we're about to start back listening to Making My Way Downtown Walking Fast. We already do it in the sneak. We're we'll locking the top lock in your apartment. But now we're about to go down the street blasting it. Terry Crews style. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me all that stuff. Show me some love.